Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been so, so long since I've sat and filmed something. I apologise. I've just had like zero motivation. So anyway, it is that time of the month where it is the beginning of a new month. So this means it is time for monthly favourites. So I have a few favourites to show you guys, but the first one is here. So if you watch my channel, um, you will know that I previously had blonde hair, but I actually have grey hair now. I decided to dye my hair grey the other week. Um, I will be doing a sort of video on my progress into grey hair and what I think about it and how to maintain it and stuff. Um, so when that is done, I will come back and link that down below, but I haven't filmed it yet. I will probably film it straight after this one. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would show you guys. This was done by Colour Freedom. It is a box dye you can get from Superdrug or Amazon. Um, and I chose the colour Graphite Grey, uh, just because it's dark and it will fade to a nice silver. Now on to other favourites. Um, I'm probably just going to start off with what I'm wearing because this is a favourite and I will forget about it. So this is a Guns N' Roses t-shirt. I believe I got this from Primark. Ooh, there's a hair on me. Um, as you can see, it's very ripped. More ripped than I thought. I think this is like a size 8 or 6. They're quite big. Yeah, I actually can't remember how much it costs because I'm one of those people that just rip the label off before actually putting the t-shirt on. Yes, this is my first favourite. I believe this was £8. I believe. But don't hold me to that. The next is also a clothing item and it is this choker, it just got a little moon on it. Yet again, I cannot tell you how much it costs. I think it cost about four pounds. Um, it's a choker, it's got a little moon. Me and my little sister both have the same necklace and it's this nice sort of velvet um, choker. And I just love the moon. It's very simple, it's not too OTT. What I love about the moon though is that you can probably wear it on both sides. So you have this side which is just at the back of it or you can turn it over and have like a little face I actually don't know how much any of the shit I've got here costs but I'm gonna move on to the next item which is a purse so this was from Primark it did have another tassel but the other tassel broke off and it is everywhere in my bag that is the only downside of this I must say is that the these tassels do not last but it's a very cute Aladdin purse. I think this costs £3. Um, don't remember if they sell it anymore because anymore, the thing about Primark is there are some items where you go and if you don't buy it then and there you will never see that item again. Can we all just have a moment silence for that chip mug? Never mind, I'll find someone like you. My dog is snoring. He stopped. Is he dead? Are you dead? Oh, sorry, did I wake you? He's alive. It's fine. Next part I'm going to move on to is skincare. Since coming off the pill, my acne or my, my skin is just prone to getting spots now. So I needed something strong enough to handle the spots, but not stripping enough to dry the fuck out of my skin. So I have been using the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Gel Wash. Now, I was a huge fan of the cleansing... Of, of the micellar water um, and when I saw this I was like well I've got to give this a go and I've only been using sort of that much and it says that you can remove your makeup with it I don't use this to remove my makeup because I have read some reviews that say that this stings people's eyes even though it is for sensitive skin and it does say it can be used on eyes I generally don't like to take my makeup off with this I, I will use um, micellar water to remove it and I will cleanse doing using this. This does not dry my skin out at all. I was so worried gel washes usually do that. Straight away from the first wash I will notice my skin is dry and tight. This has not done that but I love it so much. I also thought I would start using a toner at night because I don't haven't used a toner in years and I just thought it might be something just to help clean my skin that bit further and I didn't actually mean to buy sort of a matching set. But, I have been loving the Garnier Skin Active Soothing Botanical Toner with Rose Water. This is for people with dry and sensitive skin. They do have other ones if you have oily or acne prone skin. They do have different ranges. But, 
like I said, I only use this at night and you put it on the cotton pad, wipe it all over your face, wait for it to sit in. Yet again, it does not dry my skin out at all. What I love about this, and I don't know whether you'll be able to see it, is on here it's got a list of the ingredients um, and then what the source of it is. So not only is it telling you what the ingredient is, but it also tells you where that ingredient comes from, which is quite handy because on the normal ones you can sit there and you go, what the hell is, you know, glycerin, well, you know, in case you didn't know. But on here, it tells you where that glycerin comes from, which is soybean, rapeseed, and coconut. So it actually tells you where they get these ingredients from, which I think is great. Um, it really helps you break down the products into natural, what is good for you, what's not good for you. Yeah, now I'm going to move on to makeup. I've got two foundations here. So this is the Collection Illuminating Touch Foundation in the shade Porcelain 1 usually wear this every day because it does give you a really nice dewy glow but without it being too oily it gives an actually amazing amount of coverage and it does say it's supposed to give skin a natural luminosity and I think it is fairly natural because I saw it and was like I love trying out new foundations especially ones for dry pale skin because it's very rare that foundations that are mainstream are for dry skin people Usually they're like full coverage and really heavy and cakey. That is not good for none. Next foundation I've had for quite a long time and I'm just trying to use it up but I have recently realised why I bought it in the first place. And this is the number 7 Stay Perfect foundation. So this says up to 24 hours wear, it's not up to 24 hours wear. I am wearing it right now though. Um, it's light proof foundation for a naturally flawless complexion. I would say that is true. The good thing about number seven is they do this match made service so you can get your skin tested um, and it gives you the shade you are and one up and one down I think. So you can go darker if you want or two shades darker I think it gives you. So that if you tan quite easily then you have that range. I am with the palest shade which is Calico. It's really lightweight, really doesn't feel like you've got anything on um, but it does give you quite a nice amount of coverage. Last makeup favourite is this W7 contour stick. So you get the contour on one end, which looks very dark but is actually really easy to blend out. And then you get a highlight, which honestly, you guys, I mean, I'm not a highlighting queen. I think that that title definitely goes to Nikki Tutorials, but that ain't no highlighter. Like, it looks like a concealer. Like, even if I blend, like, what is that? I look like a Simpson. Contour. Is quite nice. Um, it does blend out quite nicely. I mean, I've put a lot on there. But when you blend it out properly, it looks quite nice. Quite like this. I use this to contour I just use a little bit sort of like here and then I will blend it out and then for a bronzer I use my hula 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 so yeah we're done with that product now so I have two more favorites to show you the first one is this bag so I got this bag I think from Clinton's and it is an Alice in Wonderland bag it's a tote bag so it's got this on one side and then this on the other and basically I just love it. So Clinton's stock Disney stuff, yet another place to go if you love Disney and want stationery or some bags. This bag costs £8. I actually remember how much that costs. <laughs> um, or was it 10 Shit. Alice in Wonderland is my life. Which links me quite nicely into my final favourite, which is this. This is an Alice in Wonderland lantern. This was handmade by someone who lives in my area, who does these sort of lights. Um, and yeah, so when you go inside, there is a bunch of fairy lights, and then you just, voila. I'm gonna turn them off. But I just really love it. I just think it's so, so cute. She's got like the little Alice in Wonderland illustration on, and I love the illustrations. 
Um, this, I'm not gonna lie, the only thing I don't like about it is the fact that this is from the movie. Like, the new one. But other than that, I think this is the cutest little lamp I've ever seen in my life. And it sits sort of in my bookshelf and amongst my books. So that was my April favourites. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and found something that you enjoyed and loved as well. Um, please give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe for more. Subscribe if you want to be alerted for when I do my grey hair video, if you are liking the grey hair. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye!